This one is a little bit more advanced, and it is that West Coast Swing is a conversation. What's up everyone, Brian B, Miss Megan, westcoastswingonline.com, here on YouTube on our Frustration Friday video series, where every Friday we upload a helpful video for a frustrating, difficult part of West Coast Swing. So this one is a little bit more advanced, and it is that West Coast Swing is a conversation. So I wanna tell you a quick story about this. There was a friend of mine that was becoming a really good West Coast Swing dancer. She had a dream of doing a social dance with this high level pro, a US Open champion, and she had this dance, and after the dance, the gentleman looked at her and said, don't ever do that again. And what he meant was, you're good enough to not just purely follow everything that I lead, but you're able to do some styling and take some chances within the dance, and then that lets it be easier for the leader to decide what's gonna come next. And here's what I mean. If when we are learning West Coast Swing, it's very much leader leads, follower follows, right? Whatever pattern, what pattern is he leading? It's a whip and the follower needs to follow all of that, but at a certain point we know how to do that, but then there are some stylistic choices we can take within the structure of the dance that make it much more of a conversation and really make West Coast Swing come alive. Here's what I mean. If I dance a sugar push, right, but Miss Megan decides to hitch on that sugar push, right, it's gonna give a different feel to what's gonna come next, right? So even instinctively I let a tuck turn. So same thing, if I dance a very dry sugar push into a tuck turn, kind of boring, right? But if we're able, if Miss Megan hitches on the, uh, on the one of the sugar push, right, that gives a different feel. If Miss Megan over rotates on the tuck, boom, right, it creates a little bit of a different feel and maybe makes me want to lead something different. Sorry to interrupt, but if you like what you see, please take a second to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's the red button in the bottom right of the screen. And when you're done watching the video, head over to westcoastswingonline.com, enter your email, and you'll be part of our exclusive Move of the Week Club. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing you on the dance floor soon. Cool? So now how do we explore these options? Number one, uh, we've got an ebook that has some really cool styling options and a bunch of videos that we can share with you. So uh, hunt around in the description below. Always when you're watching our videos, click the description below because we put relevant resources to the topic that we're talking about. So down there, um, hopefully it'll be a link to five ways to style your anchor step. That's the beginning place where we can work on some different places we can go in the anchor step. And there's a bunch of other resources, both for leaders and followers. So uh, there's your Frustration Friday. I hope to see you again next week. If you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, click the red button in the corner below. Head to westcoastswingonline.com, enter your email, get 20 free videos on our website in the membership section, and uh, send us an email and tell us what you want us to do. We are happy to make awesome content for you guys. See you guys on the dance floor soon. Thank you.